Welcome everyone to another toddler virtual story time. I'm Miss Vaughn, and as always, I'm so happy that you're here. I hope you're ready to sing some songs, do some rhymes, get your wiggles out, and of course, read some books together. Parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, friends, please join along, sing, participate, take this chance to bond with your child. All of the songs, stories, and motions will help your child learn and grow. If you enjoyed today's story time, make sure to come back to our YouTube or Facebook page next Tuesday at 10 a.m. for a new video. Let's get started. We're going to start as always with our hello song with our American Sign Language for hello. Let's do it. We say hello like this. We say hello like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We say hello like this. It's time to get our friend, Hetty, our owl, to come help us by telling us the theme of the week. Hetty, how are you today? She's tired. Are any of you guys tired on a Monday morning? Me too. But she still has these beautiful eggs that we're going to take a look at to find out what our theme is. <gasps> Hetty, which egg should we start with? <gasps> the blue egg. Okay, let's look and see what our theme of the week is. We have some musical instruments. An instrument is something you use to do something. If it's a musical instrument, it's something you use to play music. So here we have a bunch of musical instruments you might find in an elementary school classroom, like a drum, a tambourine, sticks, shaker eggs, there's bells, and a xylophone. That is so much fun, Hetty. All right, so that's our first clue to what we're gonna talk about this week. What's our next egg? All right, this nice golden egg. Let's see what's inside. Very good, we have this little girl. What's she doing? She has on headphones, so she's listening to music, and she's dancing to music. We like to dance, don't we, Hetty? Oh, yes, so there she is listening and dancing to music. And we have our last golden egg here. Let's see what it has. We have a little boy. What's he doing? He's singing. He has a microphone and he's singing along. So we have a boy who's singing music, a girl who's listening to music and dancing, and we have musical instruments he used to play music. What word are we hearing a lot? The word music. Is that our theme? Yes. Awesome. So this week we get to talk all about music. This is exciting. Well, I actually have some of these musical instruments with me today to show you so you can see what they're like. So we're going to say bye to Hetty. Thank you, Hetty. And we're going to get out our musical instruments. So this is a bunch of these same instruments. So these are called rhythm sticks. We're gonna look at those in a minute. But first we're gonna look at this. This is called a maraca. Listen to it. This is a percussion instrument and you play this along with music. It's sort of like a drum. We have another one that's kind of like that. It's called an egg shaker. Why don't you take a look? Why do you think it's called an egg shaker? You're right, because it's shaped just like an egg. And these are great little instruments because you don't have to plug them in or anything. You can just play them around the house whenever you want. This is another instrument. What do you think these are? These are bells, and these are fun because you can put these on your wrist or your ankle or you can hold them. Do you know what these remind me of? These remind me of jingle bells. Very fun. And we have our rhythm sticks. We're going to actually play a song using rhythm sticks now. So what I want you to do is pause the video and ask your mom or dad or your babysitter, whoever's there, any adult, what you can use to gently tap together. Two wooden spoons would work. Two pencils would work. Any two things that you can gently tap together without them breaking. All right, you're not gonna hit anything with them. You're just gonna tap them 
and tap them on your lap and tap them together. So go ahead and pause the video, get your rhythm sticks, and come back when you're ready and hit play. So now that you have two sticks or something like it to gently tap together, we're going to sing a song called This Is The Way We Tap Our Sticks. So you're going to follow along, but gently tap your sticks. We don't want to break anything, all right? This is the way we tap our sticks, tap our sticks, tap our sticks. This is the way we tap our sticks so early in the morning. Very good tapping. Now we're gonna rub our sticks like this. This is the way we rub our sticks, rub our sticks, rub our sticks. This is the way we rub our sticks so early in the morning. Now we're gonna do like a hammer. This is the way we hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks, hammer our sticks. This is the way we hammer our sticks so early in the morning. Now we're gonna roll them. This is the way we roll our sticks, roll our sticks, roll our sticks. This is the way we roll our sticks so early in the morning. And the last one, we're gonna drum them like drummers, very gently so you don't hurt your lap. This is the way we drum our sticks, drum our sticks, drum our sticks. This is the way we drum our sticks so early in the morning. Very good. Now go ahead and gently put your sticks down and get comfy because we're going to read our first story about music. This one is called Brilliant Baby Plays Music. Brilliant Baby Plays Music, written by Laura Gell, illustrated by Jean-Claude. Read with permission from Little Bee Books. Music is orchestras, choirs, and bands. Tapping or snapping or clapping your hands. Music is cellos, pianos, and gongs strumming or drumming or singing along. Here our drummer has the name of his band on his drum. It's called The Babies. <laughs> Music is trumpets and one wailing sax, stopping a rushing crowd right in their tracks. Look, everyone has stopped to watch their band play. And that's the saxophone and the stand-up bass. Music is classical, country, and pop, making you shimmy and boogie and hop. All these different kinds of music, but they all make you dance. Music is reggae and rock and the blues. Music is playing however you choose. Music is salsa and hip hop and jazz. Music is fanfare with trills with pizzazz. And this DJ and the singer, they're a band called Babies with Attitude. <laughs> Music is anthems that get your blood pumping. Music is rhythm that starts your feet thumping. Music is lyrics, that's the words, that help you unwind. Music is leaving your problems behind. Music is there when we wake up each day. Music is there when we work and we play. Music is there when we spin and we leap. Music is there when we drift off to sleep. The end. Now that we just read about lots of different kinds of music, we're going to look at some different kinds of things people use to play music, the musical instruments. We talked about some earlier, like the egg shaker and the maraca, but these are some new ones. So I have a bunch of musical instruments that are hiding behind these brightly colored hearts. Let's count how many hearts we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six hearts. So we have six hearts, that means we're going to have six musical instruments to find. Say along with me. Musical instrument, where do you hide? P, 
pink heart, show us what you've got inside. What do you think is in the pink heart? Let's take a look. This is called a flute. That's a flute. Sometimes you hear those in orchestras or bands. Very good. Which color of heart should we do next? Okay, let's give blue a try. Musical instruments, where do you hide? Blue heart, show us what you've got inside. Let's take a look. Oh, this is a fun one. What is that? Do you know what that's called? That's called a guitar. And this type of guitar is an electric guitar. So you might hear that in a rock band or all kinds of music. That's a fun one. All right, what color next? Musical instruments, where do you hide? Yellow heart, show us what you've got inside. This is called a trumpet. Play it like this. Very fun. That's in jazz bands and orchestras and brass bands. Very fun, like marching bands at schools. They use those. All right, let's try our purple heart. Musical instruments, where do you hide? Purple heart, show us what you've got inside. Oops, it fell down. It's okay. Put it right back up. That's called a violin. Those are beautiful. You play it like this with a bow, and those are in orchestras and quartets where four people play music together. They are beautiful. All right, let's do a red heart. Musical instruments, where do you hide? Red heart, show us what you've got inside. What do we have? Oh, these are great if you like to make a lot of noise. This is a drum set. Drums are used in all kinds of music, so that's a lot of fun. All right, we have one heart left, our green heart. Should we look what's inside? What do you think is under this green heart? What kind of musical instrument have we not shown yet? That's a good guess, let's see. Musical instruments, where do you hide? Green heart, show us what you've got inside. It's a piano. So if you guessed piano, you guessed correctly. Pianos are also used in all different kinds of music and they're often used for the main theme songs underneath everything. So these are six different musical instruments. There's a lot of other kinds too. Can you think of any others? Those are good ones. All right, we're gonna read our next book about music, and this is a funny one. This is called Sir Ned and the Nasties. Sir Ned and the Nasties by Brett and David McKee. Read with permission from Anderson Press. The king lived in the castle on the top of the hill. He used to be happy, but now he felt ill. What made him so poorly? Terrible sounds, like wild screeching cats and howling old hounds. The noises came from the deep dark of the wood, the notorious nasties up to no good. They scared the whole village with their horrible drone that came through the walls and shook every home. Send me a knight not afraid of a quest, commanded the king, my bravest and best. Sir Ned the noble was the knight that he chose, ready and eager to fight the king's foes. Don't worry, Sir Ned said, I'll find who's to blame and then put an end to their ear-popping game. I think all the other knights are too afraid of the terrible sounds, so they're all running away. So Sir Ned is the only one who volunteered. Goodness, he must be brave. He left for the woods where the wild wind was blowing and there met a troll who asked, where are you going? I seek the nasties, though it may take forever. I know these woods well, said the troll. Let's search together. The trees were swaying and the crows were crowing. 
when a witch appeared asking, where are you going? We seek the nesties, each one a crook. I know these woods well, said the witch. I'll help you look. By the twisted old bridge, a river was flowing. A lurking wolf muttered, where are you going? We seek the nasties and their secret lair. I know the place, said the wolf. I'll take you there. On tiptoe, he led them to a well-hidden cave with a sign that said, enter here if you be brave. Sir Ned whispered softly, the nasties are near. The others laughed at him. Yes, we're right here. We're the nasties, they growled. Welcome to our home. You fell for our trick and now you're on your own. They tied up Sir Ned and snarled in his face. Then the witch said, you'll never escape from this place. She waved her wand once, a fire burst into life. The wolf licked his lips. The troll sharpened his knife. Oh no. They prodded and poked Ned, then started to sing the terrible noises that upset the king. Well, now we know where all those horrible noises were coming from. They're coming from the nasties when they sing, because they sing so badly. Ah, said Sir Ned, this I can fix. When you sing together, your voices must mix. Listen to each other. Let the notes fill your heart. The song will bring joy. The magic will start. So Sir Ned is trying to tell them how to harmonize and how to sing together and sound good. Sir Ned sang a song which worked like a spell, changing bad into good and making all well. The nasties were grinning as they heard the tune. The troll joined in first, his voice big as the moon. The witch got excited, her voice soaring higher. Wolf hummed and drummed as they danced round the fire. So the thing that's magic for them is music. They're all singing together. Their song sounded lovely, not like before. The king heard the music and was happy once more. So now that the Nassies are all listening to their, each other's voices and harmonizing and singing together, the whole kingdom loves the sound of their music. What fun, said the Nasties. Sir Ned, please don't go. We sound good together. Let's put on a show. Now they sing their songs up and down the land and are famously known as Ned's Magic Band. <laughs> so there they are performing as a band, singing and dancing together. <laughs> there are no nasties now, not in this wood. That smell is the stinkies who are up to no good. <laughs> so now that Sir Ned is taking care of the horrible sounds from the forest, I think we're going to have to find someone else to go take care of the horrible stinkiness from the forest. Those stinkies. <laughs> the end. Wasn't Sir Ned and the Nasties such a funny story? I love that he and the Nasties form a band and travel around at the end singing for everyone. Cracks me up. All right, guys. Well, this is the end of our week on music. So we're going to do our goodbye song. We say goodbye like this. We say goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We say goodbye like this. I'll see you next week.